Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together to take thought beyond that which it has been before. Yes? You are knowing what you are wanting? You are ready to begin? No warming up necessary? You are warmed up? What do you want? 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 Oh, what do you want? You see, you've already told the universe what you want again and again. You've already put the details of what you want into your vortex. What you want is known by the universe, by your inner being and is being responded upon by law of attraction. But when you identify what you want, you can feel your emotional guidance system letting you know your vibrational proximity to what you want. In other words, your relativity to what you want. And so when you think about what you want, that's not when you create it. You've already created it. When we ask you what you want, asking you to focus upon what you want from your current vibrational state, which gives us a reading on what you've got going on vibrationally. You can read that reading too by your emotions. If what you want feels desperate to you, not so ready to receive it. If what you want feels frisky to you, then you're in the vibrational vicinity. Yes. So what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Easy does it. What do you want? It's such a nice thing to focus in the direction of your desire to line up with what you want. What do you want? We want you to stop saying that Abraham and just call on someone now. Let's begin right here. Hello. First thing I'd like to say, thank you for everything, the CDs, the things at home. And also, um, I'd like to say, um, I've been following you since like I went to the Cancun land cruise and then the Caribbean cruise and then now this one. And it's just been such a great fun. Not really joy. clear who's following. Who is it? <laughs> You're the ones launching the rockets and we're the one following your rockets and we're the one focusing on what you've got going on. So you could say it's a mutual following thing going on. I feel that because yeah. we, I feel like we also have a private conversation at home in the thoughts and never ending. Yeah. Yes. And I'd like to say, after each cruise or each experience with you, awesome things happen like right after. And I was like, wow. Well, it's because you practice a... more allowing. You get more into that satisfied receiving mode. So then you benefit by the momentum of that before you return to real life where there's resistant things to chew on and other resistant people to chew on them with you. So. I have three things on um, the last two are questions. And the first one is I j it's about gratefulness again, gratitude. Um, I was in the hot seat in the Caribbean and we talked about seeing dolphins and I was so excited. I saw the dolphins and then you called me into the hot seat and then I said, I really want to see a whale. And um, you said, yeah, you will see it's getting ready to be ready to be ready. And on the, within 24 hours of being on this ship, I couldn't sleep the morning and then I, I saw the whale tail waving in like six o'clock in the morning and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that, was, that was like a continuation of our conversation last time. The, the whales like to show off for you because they hear you calling, but whether you see them or not is about your timing. And there are those who say, I have not seen a whale. I have not seen a whale. I have not seen a whale who will not see a whale. And then there are those who I saw a whale, I saw a whale, I saw another whale. And those who are not seeing the whales are not believing those that are seeing the whales. <laughs> also saw the black bear when we were zip lining and so, okay. Timing, so th timing. Thank you. So two questions that have been in my mind. Yes. So life was magical even before we met, but it was like a confirmation and a little clarification of how magical things happen. Yes. And I'm just 
wondering, when you're on a high, when you're in joy, joyful and you're feeling the flow of things and your things are going great for you, a question in my mind is, how can you tell when you get an impulse so you're feeling really frisky and you have an impulse and you want to act on it, but how can you tell if it's an impulse that will lead to more joy or if in the future it might lead to temptation that might be sort of crash and burn. Because you're such, in such a flow, you're so excited, and sometimes things, everything seems great. There's nothing that will mess up your now moment than trying to figure out future from that objective point of view. In other words, what we're encouraging you to do, and you've been hearing it and doing it, is feel for satisfying moments until you know for sure you can tell the difference. And anytime you feel satisfied and that friskiness, that eagerness, that eager impulse, that feeling, oh, this sounds like a good idea, means that it is. It's a little funny how humans have such a hard time associating good feelings with good unfoldings. And it can only be because you have maybe sometimes been smiling and not feeling happy or faking it when you don't really feel it so you have a little confusion about what really feels good and what doesn't but once you get into that groove where you can tell a satisfying thought from one that isn't and you've let enough of them play out that you know for sure then you always know what you're under the influence of whether you're under the influence of your true receiving mode or whether you're under the influence of some momentum of some thought that you've been thinking for a while and so you just have to play it out but there's something else that you said that we really want to chew on together just a little bit because we don't want to ever give you the impression that every moment of your life experience is meant to be without contrast or even without awareness of contrast because the contrast really is what puts the asking within you which is what puts the eternalness in you if there were not variety if there were not more to ask for every time you ask for something and then allow the process to help you to receive it you not only receive what you've asked for but you receive a new vantage point from which to experience more contrast from which to ask for more and so there's a constant more 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 that is coming but this leading edge question that we're upon together right here is that sometimes that frisky feeling that feeling of oh I want to go there is like that feeling of adventure where I'm wanting to experience some very deliberate motion forward it's the eagerness of the unknown now in the beginning of deliberate creation eagerness and unknown don't go very well to you in the same sentence you just want to be eager about the things that you're absolutely sure that you're going to have a slam dunk about and you're not too eager to do anything that might feel a little edgy or a little new or a little maybe adventurous or maybe even by other standards a little dangerous the better you get at maintaining your vibrational balance then the more the universe will yield to you those kinds of things it's like the wire walker who gets on that wire and walks out across some crevasse most who are watching can't even imagine how he would even want to do that but he wants to do it no one is making him do it if he were being made to do it he would fall he's not being made to do it he wants to do it because he trusts in his ability to maintain his balance and so the more sure-footed you become in this vibrational world that you are living then the more your eagerness will lead you to more and more that others might find sort of surprisingly dangerous but it doesn't feel dangerous to you because you're sure-footed when you are really really good at something let's say you are good at a sport let's talk about tennis so you're really good at a sport you don't look for people that you can always beat don't you want to play with those that evoke more from you don't you want to become better because of the game that you're playing well that's what your life experience is about you want to become more the satisfaction comes from only one place asking and then moving in the direction of it and asking let's just say it asking isn't asking about reaching beyond where you are isn't that what the ask is otherwise it's just commentary otherwise it's just regurgitation asking is always reaching asking 
reaching beyond what is so for many people who don't understand their own stability then that asking feels like reaching into some scary place but not for those of you who understand not for those of you who are stable in the laws not for those of you who are stable in your own understanding of where you are and so if you're not stable don't move forward but if you are stable then your calling moves you forward in other words when you're ready the feeling of moving forward is so strong you just can't deny it Why Wild horses could not keep you from it and you've had those experiences you know what we're talking about when you feel like going and people in your experience maybe your mother maybe someone close to you maybe someone who you hang around with and you're not sure why because they're always sort of warning you and guarded about things they're wanting you to hold back but you want to go you want to romp forward because that is your true nature because in your creative everness you are adventurous an adventure in knowing is ecstasy adventure in doubt is scary stuff so just take it easy get your balance find it often and then follow your impulses and live this happily ever after adventurous ever after eager ever after life experience only those who maintain a pretty high level of doubt and resistance in their vibration feel trepidation at every step forward but watch the young ones they're not trepidatious and older trepidatious ones think the young are foolish and we say if only you could be more like them being like them is what you've come to be that's who you are you said I'll go and I'll ask and I'll receive and I'll enjoy yeah